Day four of learning how to wrap my 350Z. Welcome back to Annie's Janky Garage, and today we are finally starting to wrap. So I decided to go with the Space Candy Lavender Dreams color from TinyBot. I am obsessed with this wrap color. It looks gorgeous, and it goes really well with the white wheels. My friend that's a wrap tech came to teach me all the skills so that I don't, like, completely butcher it. We started the day by removing the front bumper, rear bumper, emblems, window trim, and some other parts that would intervene. I also JB welded one of the cracked pillars because I totally did not want to buy and wait for a new one. And after Key showed me how to cut out the pieces, it was time to spray down the car with some rubbing alcohol to get into those crevices. And then it was time to finally begin wrapping. We started by wrapping the rear and directed it towards the front. He started by showing me how to use the heat gun with a wrap and then showed me how to lay it down with a squeegee. And then I trimmed the wrap like mostly by myself, so I was pretty proud. And then onto the door. I did the door handle all by myself, so I felt like a professional. And after the front fender is onto the hood. My jaw dropped the second I saw that almost 50% of the car was already wrapped. I am head over heels for this wrap color. And just to give you an idea, all these parts took around six hours to wrap. Stay tuned for day five and let me know what you think of the color.